The Bible Story David and Goliath The Philistines gathered for battle against the Israelites. The Philistines lined up on one hill and the Israelites on another, with a valley between them. King Saul and the Israelites were camped in Elah Valley. A man named Goliath, from the city of Gath, came out from the Philistine camp to challenge the Israelites. Goliath was over seven feet tall and wore bronze armor that weighed about 125 pounds. His legs were also protected by bronze armor, and he carried a bronze javelin. The iron head on his spear weighed about 15 pounds. A soldier walked in front of him carrying his shield. Goliath shouted at the Israelites, Choose one of your men to fight me. If he wins and kills me, we will be your slaves. David was back in Bethlehem looking after his father's sheep. He often had to protect the sheep from attacks by lions and bears. His three oldest brothers Eliab, Abinadab, and Shammah were in the army facing the Philistines. Goliath challenged the Israelites every morning and evening for 40 days. One day Jesse said to David, Take this roasted grain and these ten loaves of bread to your brothers in the camp. And take these ten cheeses to the commanding officer. Find out how your brothers are getting along. David took the food to the officer in charge of the supplies then ran to the battle line to see his brothers. As he was talking with them, Goliath came forward and challenged the Israelites. When the Israelites saw Goliath, they ran away in terror. David asked, Who is this Philistine to defy the army of the living God? They told him the man who killed Goliath would get a big reward, marry the king's daughter and his father's family would not need to pay taxes. David was taken to King Saul, Your Majesty, said David, No one should be afraid of this Philistine. I will go and fight him. No, answered Saul. How could you fight him? You're just a boy, and he has been a soldier all his life. I have killed lions and bears who attacked my father's sheep, replied David, and I will do the same to this Philistine, who has defied the army of the living God. The Lord will save me from Goliath. Go, and the Lord be with you, Saul replied. He gave David his armor but when David tried it on, he said, I can't fight with all this, I'm not used to it. Instead, he took his shepherd's stick and then picked up five smooth stones from the stream and put them in his bag. With his sling ready, he went out to meet Goliath. Goliath started walking toward David, with his shield bearer walking in front of him. What's that stick for? He shouted at David. Do you think I'm a dog? Goliath called down curses from his god on David. Come on, I will give your body to the birds and animals to eat, he shouted. David answered, you are coming against me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. Today the Lord will put you in my power. I will defeat you and cut off your head. As Goliath started walking toward David again, David ran quickly toward the Philistine. He reached into his bag and took out a stone, which he slung at Goliath. It hit him on the forehead, breaking his skull, and Goliath fell face downward on the ground. David ran took Goliath's sword out of its sheath and cut off his head. When the Philistines saw that their hero was dead, they ran away. The men of Israelites shouted and ran after them, pursuing them all the way to Gath and Ekron in Philistine territory. David kept Goliath's weapons and returned in triumph as a hero.